Currently, Taiwan can be likened to a turtle nation, finding solace in their separation from China by the Taiwan Straits and their association as a client of the United States. They have grown accustomed to living under the constant threat of invasion, retreating into their shells with the hope that everything will turn out fine. However, as China's naval strength continues to grow, their protective shell is becoming increasingly fragile. It is imperative that Taiwan adopt a new approach and transform into what many have referred to as a porcupine nation. Although the lion has the ability to devour the porcupine at any given moment, it often chooses not to. The sharp quills of the porcupine do not guarantee its protection from the lion's destruction, but they do exact revenge. Lions frequently perish as a result of the quills, rendering porcupine consumption a behavior commonly exhibited by either older, desperate lions with no other prey or young, naive lions who lack wisdom. Taiwan has found itself in a precarious position amid escalating cross-strait tensions in the upcoming January elections. While many believe that Taiwan's military and civil defenses have room for improvement in deterring potential invasions from China, different approaches have sparked debates and controversies. Former U.S. National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien's proposal to arm Taiwanese citizens with AK-47 rifles as a deterrent was met with criticism and condemnation by local officials and former President Ma Ying-jeou. This incident highlights the challenges that Taiwan faces in preparing its society for the worst-case scenario. According to former Chief of the General Staff Li Ximin, Taiwan is far from ready when it comes to military and civil defense. Despite support from the United States, Taiwan needs to make numerous improvements in areas such as weapons acquisition and civilian training. While having the right equipment is crucial, the most important aspect is the determination and will of the Taiwanese people to defend themselves. Concerns about Taiwan's ability to deter and resist China have been fueled by recent events such as Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The outcome of the upcoming elections in January, which are likely to determine the level of strains between Taiwan and China, also contributes to the uncertainty. The wars in Ukraine and Gaza have shown that preparations for defense need to go beyond the military and include critical infrastructure security, civil resilience, cybersecurity, and continuity of operations and government. However, such preparations require significant time and resources. Several issues are raised by officials and analysts regarding Taiwan's military, including its size, which has decreased in recent years, and concerns about the suitability of the equipment being purchased. Additionally, there is a backlog in U.S. arms sales to Taiwan, which includes fighter jets and tanks. Critics argue that Taiwan is not making the right modernization decisions, leading to doubts about its preparedness. There are differing opinions about Taiwan's ability to withstand an invasion from China. Oriana Schuyler Mastro, a center fellow at Stanford University, believes that Taiwan would fall in the event of war with China due to factors like limited resources and China's geographic advantage. However, President Joe Biden has repeatedly stated that the U.S. would come to Taiwan's aid if it were attacked. Building resilience and ensuring preparedness require significant effort and resources. Taiwan is actively discussing and exploring possibilities with the U.S. to strengthen its defenses, including civil, military, and infrastructure aspects. However, uncertainties and threats remain, and there is a need for heightened urgency and attention to maintain peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. Despite the challenges, Taiwan's relative affluence and strong inward foreign investment help inure its citizens to the threat of conflict. However, polls show that only slightly more than half of Taiwanese respondents are willing to defend Taiwan if attacked by China, indicating a sizable population that may choose capitulation or rapprochement instead. Experts stress the importance of enhancing the public's awareness of the friend and foe dynamic to ensure preparedness. The political landscape in Taiwan further adds to the ambiguity surrounding its response to a potential conflict with Beijing. Some presidential candidates are more willing to engage with China than others, which could influence Taiwan's course of action. Experts caution that Taiwan is not well prepared psychologically or materially for a conflict, although past events, such as Ukraine's resistance, have shown that initial expectations may not always be accurate. Both Taiwan and the U.S. need to address deficiencies in their preparations. The pace of U.S. preparation is seen as inadequate to the scale of the challenge, and Taiwan needs to undertake further steps in overhauling its defense policies and strengthening its whole society resilience. Building preparedness and resilience is viewed as vital in dealing with various scenarios, including war and natural disasters. Despite the challenges, Taiwan remains determined to respond to the rising threats posed by China. Nonprofit organizations like Forward Alliance provide emergency training to enhance citizens' responses and society's ability to navigate crises. With the urgency emphasized by Beijing, Taiwan is in a race. 
It is time for Taiwan to become a porcupine nation, one that doesn't hope to take on China in a Marquis of Queensbury type combat, but to deter an attack by the stronger party by making it clear Taiwan will take China down with them. Asymmetric warfare is the name of the game, or as political scientist Ian Oxnabad puts it, if you're down pieces in a chess game and you still want to survive, find a way to put pressure on their king.